I was told it is out of bounds for any YouTuber to go there because you have been um, shooting videos half naked or naked and let's be honest sex sells and whenever one, one a company or someone sexualize an item be it an item be it a, a food be it something that is not even uh, edible the moment you sexualize it it goes viral truth be told hello good people good evening to you from this part of the world to be precise kenya east africa welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sende underscore marwa to the returning subscribers thank you for always finding time to come watch my videos i don't take it for granted and those who are new here consider to hit the subscription button not forgetting the notification bell to alert you whenever i upload a new video my good people always comment like and even share 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 let me know where you're watching this video from good people have been busy for the past one week i haven't been finding time to do some videos and like today i'm from um, running my today's errands and it is around 6 p.m eh? <laughs> and i'm heading home from where i am coming from as you can see from my my background that is our banana farm and this other end you can see plantation maize we call it maize or corn here and uh, i'm heading home so i thought why not do a video i shot video as i before i get home eh? before i get in the house good people so as i as i was telling you i've been busy and uh, in and about so that i can make the uh, the ends meet you know we are in the village <laughs> and we have to work and uh, we have to seize opportunities once we get it to better our lives so good people today i wanted to talk about something that uh, surprised me now a few days ago uh, as you know no not all of you who are watching those of you who are watching me from outside uh, from outside kenya that is from east africa especially we have been experiencing a heavy downpour here we have been experiencing floods here in kenya and tanzania and uh, the amount of rainfall that we have been receiving is now going down and to us here in the village it is yesterday i don't know if it did rain yesterday no the other day it didn't rain but yesterday it rained and uh it wasn't all that heavy even uh even uh, you it couldn't fill up a 20 liter packet you know so we were talking as we were discussing about the rain i told one of my friends the sun now is coming it is going to be it is going to be hot here in the village i was told that some rivers here in the village are out of bounds and i was so surprised one of my favorite river that i since my childhood although it is a a few meters a few kilometers away from my home but we usually in the back in the days we usually went there to swim uh, seems it's going to rain tonight i am telling it is around 6 pm here so i just have to do it faster you can see from my video it's about to rain <coughs> excuse me it is about to rain huh? and the wind is blowing so i was told the the river is out of bounds i i tried to find out why i was told with one of my friends who is a civil servant civil servant meaning he works with the civil servant to mean that he works with the government i was told the river is out of bounds for any for youtubers here in the village and those visiting that was one of my favorite rivers since my childhood where we would go and slide it is a water slide a natural water slide for those who have been watching me in my previous um, previous videos you have seen me doing a, a water slide but on a natural rock it is a bit wide and so many youtubers from Nyabuhansi have been doing this have been shooting videos there but i was meant to understand that the 
the river is now out of bounds. Hey, my good people. I tried to find out. I was told if you are found there and you are a YouTuber, if you are found in that river, you'll be arrested. Then I got afraid. I tried to find out more about it. I was told it is out of bounds for any YouTuber to go there because you have been um, shooting videos half naked or naked and it is against our culture. As much as we used to go there to, to sunbathe and uh, slide naked, but we honestly were not shooting the videos. So they were saying that it is, um, it is uh, um, against our culture. I was told that we are portraying a very bad example to young girls and women in the village. We are portraying a bad name for our community which we do value morals here in our village and especially our culture so that's why it is out of bounds hmm? and uh, i i came to ask myself whom should we blame should we blame the youtubers we youtubers here in the village or should we should put the blame to the uh, leaders who have uh, impose the the rule or should we blame ourselves or blame the upcoming uh, uh, youtubers or the youtubers here in the village then one of of the ladies who is also a civil servant i don't want to mention her name she she's a she she told me it is um uh, because of the pictures we do portray and uh, so many girls here in the village they now believe that uh, uh, sh um, shooting videos half naked and naked is the best to go the best way to go and i told her there is nothing new on youtube good people it has started training there is nothing new on youtube that's what i told her she was of this idea that we should blame the top 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 other youtubers here in the village uh, ladies who have been shooting or um, have been creating content uh, of the river bath videos and uh, most of them they are going viral and uh, most of young girls here or youtubers or upcoming youtubers choose to do that so that's one way they they are trying to ban it or to control it so sort of that so i told her there is no need because they will still they will still shoot videos in their homes then she was like, it is better they shoot the videos in their parents' compound than going to shoot the videos in the public river, which we, where many young girls are, are washing and all children. Then, come to think of it, good people. I've been in the media for a bit, for some time, and uh, I've also participated in uh, sh shooting or uh, uh, writing advertisement scripts and to be honest sex sells let's be honest sex sells and whenever one, one a company or someone sexualize an item be it an item be it a, a food be it something that is not even edible the moment you sexualize it it goes viral truth be told and uh, I was telling her, as much as they are trying to ban the, as to keeping keeping us out of the river, and uh, that that thinking that is the one way of controlling, of controlling these uh, bathing videos in our village. One thing they should know is that right now in Kenya, everyone is able to access um, a cheap phone. Eh? Uh, uh, an accessible uh, let me say an android phone uh, at a cheaper price that's something that our own president has uh, did have in his agenda he say he promised the people of kenya that he will try as much as possible everyone to have an android phone where he can access internet in order to create job for himself in order to make money so right now in kenya there are so many phones you can access where you can also pay android phone i mean where you can access internet where you are able to pay daily for this phone depending on the kind of phone that you need 
So if they say is that uh, they say that uh, banning us uh, or keep uh, um, imposing a ban on YouTubers in the village to go shoot content or on the river, it, it, it is a, a one way of controlling it. I don't think so because right now everyone can access internet through the phones, the cheap phones that we can access today here in Af in Kenya. That's one of the agenda of our president. He needed every person to own an Android phone or a phone that he could or she could access the internet easily to make some cash. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't. Uh, so as per me, from my own perspective, I don't think that is uh, something that is going to stop these uh, betting videos from spreading, from people shooting betting videos in Kenya, in, uh, in our village here because it is now the trending topic uh, of creating content of which i usually say let people be if they are comfortable in shooting such videos let them do it because youtube is a very very wide place where everyone is allowed to do whatever he or she wants to in order to better his or her living if the person is comfortable in shooting the bathing videos and they go viral and they at the end of the day, he puts bread on the table. I don't know. I don't think that is a, is a, an issue to me. Because everyone is entitled to himself or herself. So, and this um, this issue of people blaming Di Mwango for being a bad example to the girls here in the village, that she's the one who started shooting bathing video, river bath videos, uh, and everyone followed For the last time I checked the Mongo's videos bathing videos were not all that viral in fact her viral video that I ever watched it was an evening routine video where she was cooking carrying water from the river and preparing veggies that was a video that went viral it was 1 point, 1, 1 1.2 million if I'm not wrong that was the first video that um, made that girl to go viral. But the, her bathing videos were not all that viral. But the upcoming upcoming YouTubers, female YouTubers here in the village, their bathing videos go, they, they are so viral beyond the mangoes. I don't know why people are blaming her. Not that I'm defending her, but I'm talking from my own opinion and perspective. Don't come for me. <laughs> I know you people, you come for me. Don't come for me. I'm just giving out my opinion and where my opinion stops is where your freedom starts. So don't come for me. So we should not blame Di Mwango being a bad example or uh, being, an, uh, being a bad example to young girls here in the village. Everyone is entitled to her to herself. Because if you say she, she's the one who is... Um, making girls here in the village to shoot content baiting river bath videos or uh, content because she's the one who start, first started it what i i wonder if the young if the female youtubers don't have their parents they do have their parents they do have their parents and i'm a hundred percent sure even if they are not watching someone else have told them about it that's what I know. And uh, some of them are old enough to decide what they want. But what we should know, as much as we are shooting these um, river bath content videos, is that you should be careful of predators. There are so many men in the uh, online, in the internet, who are taking advantage of naive young girls. That is the only thing that right now we should be worried about. I told the person, the civil servant, that instead of them banning the or uh, keeping uh, 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 banning YouTubers from uh, visiting the the river or the sliding place, they should instead take that opportunity and educate or call someone else who is uh, uh, who is um, knowledgeable, who has an an experience on uh, about content creation to come talk or speak to these young girls about the effect, the disadvantages and adva advantages of uh, shooting kind of those, such kind of, kind of videos rather than burning them, eh? you know? 
as much as they, it is out of bounds, that's when they made every most young girls here in the village, most young like, upcoming YouTubers, right now they are shooting bathing videos like nobody's business because they are doing it from their own compound. So I don't know how they are going to control it. But another thing, me, I was of this idea. People should stop blaming, blaming Dimwangu. Even so, another, uh, someone else was live the other day where he was talking about D being, uh, being influencing young girls here in the village and uh, upcoming YouTubers in shooting the videos. I'm sorry, but I don't think she's the, she's the reason as why people are doing that. You know, right now, so many people don't have jobs and they're looking for money and some of them ought to, to, to go to they can't do anything so my own opinion is that even if you are watching this video and you are coming from this village stop 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 condemning people rather speak to them tell them the advantage and disadvantages and stop putting blames on other people's children that they are a bad example if everyone has parents and those who don't have parents, they do have guardians who can talk to them. So they should stop doing this. So good people, I think I sh the rain is uh, <laughs> the rain is uh, is coming. It's, it is adding up. I need to go, good people. I was here because of the light, and I thank you for watching for this far. What do you think about? the river but content here in the village where so many people are complaining about it see you in my next video comment like and even share Mwah!